Hey there, it's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, bringing you a new in the Let's Play series. Today, with your permission, we're going to putz around and work on the mob farm a little bit. Uh, we're probably going to wander around and discuss a little bit of what I've done to the base since you've been gone, and then we'll get busy building the mob farm. So if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Hey there, hi there, ho there. If I haven't said welcome already, let me welcome you. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, and today we're going to play some... Oh, look at this. I have... Today we're going to play some Minecraft. Now, I have, uh, I have been... Oh, <laughs> there you go. Look at this. I've been stocking my store. Um, if you'll remember from, I think, last episode, I had... Uh, I'd lost my store through some miscommunication. It's back, and I've been stocking it. Um, I've, I've... Gosh, I've, I've just... I'm overwhelmed right now with eggs. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, this chest is full of eggs. This chest is full of eggs. Uh, and I think I have a little overflow over here. Yep. So what's happened is my five little chickens have just gone crazy because I was upstairs, you know, AFK at my fish farm. And uh, they were making eggs the whole time. So I've had to, I've had to reduce the number of chickens I have in here. Otherwise, I just... You know, it's just too crazy. Um, when I'm standing up here working, and I don't know if I showed you this already, but this is my fish farm. You know, you turn this on, you stand right here, and you cast into that. Uh, and it collects the things. They fly across this pressure plate into this hopper, into this hopper, into this chest. Now, I went one step further, and I connected these, this chest to a few, okay, all the way down. So as you can see... Um, yeah, yeah, there's, uh, there's a few things coming in. Now, I have been pulling it out and sorting it, uh, but this is a great little, frankly, it's a great little money maker for me. Uh-oh. What's happening here? Something broke my, what's, what's going on? This was working perfectly. I wonder if somebody's... Been up here messing with it. Uh, huh. So this is my chicken cooker. I wanted the extra chickens that I took out of the downstairs up here. Uh, you can only have 30 per um, per animal type, and I'd rather have them making me some chicken. See, this is empty. Why is this empty? Let's go upstairs and get that. See, it's fiddly. All this stuff in, in 1.9 is just fiddly. Every time you turn around, something's broken. There you go. Let's uh, let's go see what's going on here. I have a another farm that um, why <laughs> did you see that? There was no reason for that chicken to die, but he did. Um, see, there's something fire in that. What is going on? I got my redstone right there. Got my redstone right there. My redstone torch. Well, that's just nuts. Uh, I sure don't want to spend this whole episode trying to fix this little fiddly stuff. So, um... Actually, you know what? I know from experience that this works. Uh, when they grow up, when they get tall enough, they will hit the lava and die. So I don't think it's broken from the standpoint of it's not going to cook my chicken. Uh, if we look in here, oh, I see we've had no new ones since I last left here. So I may be wrong. Let's do this. Let's... Huh. Okay. I want to stay long enough to see an egg... Uh, attempt to hatch <laughs> to make sure it, it hasn't broken it fully. Oops, here, here we go. So, anyway, I, I got sidetracked. I, and that's easy to do when you're playing Minecraft. So, since the last episode, I built the fish farm, I built the chi chicken cooker, and I, I built this because I was spending a lot of time up here, and my chicken cooker down in the mine was being neglected. So I just took all the chickens out of there and brought some eggs and, and moved them up here, basically. Because this is right now where I'm spending all the time. And what I may do is, you know, I've left the machinery there. 
uh, and I may just take some eggs downstairs and throw them in the uh, in the hatchery when I'm going to be down there for a little while. So, you know, I'm okay moving my machine. It, you know, you just have to wait for that first little batch to grow up, and that's fine. That's fine with me. So I ran into a problem. You'll notice I I I put fences on here. I ran into a problem in that I had two or three um, pigment up here, and <laughs> turns out that if you right click with a uh, fishing pole in your hand you can upset them and they will attack you and I had no way to keep them off of me uh, so I you know killed the one you know killed the one that was in here and I went back to fishing and I went AFK and guess what they were still mad <laughs> so when he came in I heard him attacking me I happened to be fortunately you know near the computer and could hear him attacking me I jumped back in and uh, you know protected myself but I put this up so that just in case they were still upset with me they wouldn't be able to <laughs> attack me there we go see that's the way it's supposed to work chicken falls in there we go dead chicken cooked chicken beautiful Okay, let's see. What are we going to do today? I have a couple of plans. Um, one, I want to build, I want to get rid of these cows, and I want to bring, well, I want to bring two inside, and I want to build a cow cooker. Um, I don't need 30, but I am using quite a bit of um, leather in order to uh, build the books. Now, I'm down, excuse, excuse the whistling. I have 34 here. Uh, I have been pretty diligent about taking the wheat outside and feeding them and then killing them. Uh, let's put let's put that up in here. Um, so the project that I had in mind. Let, let's grab some fish. Do I have some fish cooking here anywhere? Anywhere? No. Okay. I'll take what I was going to put in the shop. Oh, good grief! Oh, my hands are so cold I can barely move the mouse. <laughs> Okay, now that that's behind us, let's talk about the project. I really need to get out here and get started on the mob farm. Uh, price guide. Oh, let it go, Shadow. Come on. I paid the money. So, I, I've built the initial platform. I, my plan was to go up. Um, you know, this is this is basically the bottom of the mob farm. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Did you hear somebody? Uh, so... Basically, this is the bottom. This is where the sorting room is going to be, where everything flows down to. There'll be a splat pad above it, and then there'll be the actual mob farm, like uh, 23 blocks or 24 blocks above that. So this mob farm is actually going to go up pretty high. I'm sitting at 80 blocks now, uh, 80 above sea level or whatever the equivalent is. So by the time I get up to that splat pad, you know, the base, I'm I'm pretty high. And I think going up another, let's see, we do uh, 20, well, let's let's talk about it. I've got some materials, oh, hold on. I've got some materials up there ready, but I don't want to take all my tools that I don't need, so we'll put my fishing pole up. Uh, which of these two? I don't really need the silk touch. Uh, I do need my spade. I do need to be able to eat. We'll put the organics up. Uh, and we'll put the craft it up because I think I've got all of this stuff up there that I'm going to need. Okay, so let's head up. I've got m all the materials that I'm going to need up there. Let's just talk and start building. So my project, again, this is, um, God, we're 17 minutes in already. I may cut some of this down, but my project today was to, you know, kind of start building out the bare bones of the mob farm. Uh, it's It's important that I get this going because a lot of what I intend to sell in the shop is going to come from here. You know, I want wool and I want string and that's going to come from the mob farm. Um, I want arrows, that's going to come from the mob farm. Uh, Gunpowder and TNT, that's all going to come from the mob farm. So, I need I need to get this going. Let's see, look at this. This is, got to go above the clouds. So, we were at 80 before. Let's go to the bottom pad and let's see where we're at. And then let's start building the frame. Now, eventually on either side of this ladder, I'm going to build stilts up. And behind this ladder is going to be my torch tower. Uh, because I am going to need a way to, well, of course, not, not down here, but I'm, I'm going to go up. 
So I'm going to need a way to push the signal up to the top to run the dispensers. So up here at the bottom of the splat pad, I'm at 180. Um, and I need to go up, what did we say? Um, from here to the splat pad, probably no more than about 10 or 12. Uh, all I need uh, room for in here is the sorter. So if I figure, you know, 10 high, that's going to give me plenty of room. And then 10, uh, once we're at the splat pad, then you go 24 above that. That's what kills them. And so the bottom of the mob farm, or not grinder, rather, the mob farm, is going to be 24 above that. So 10, 34 above here. So 34 and 184. Uh, we, we're going to be up there. I, I don't think we're going to quite be at the top of the world, but we're going to be pretty close. So I've gathered a bunch of material. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I, I really hate to be without torches, and I want to light this up as I go. Um, basically, uh, we can stop this. Somebody was asking me, you know, what what is all this for? And then I had some medical problems, and so I had to walk away for a little bit. So I think we just want to go up 10. Oh, I just lost that one, right? Oh. Let's do this. Yeah. So one. Oh, two. Yeah, we'll start with two. And you know what? I think this room is really way too big. Actually, I should probably stop and just enclose this once I've built it down. So, okay, let's let's talk about this for a second. I've got to go up 10, put the splat pad in, right? So let's just do it right here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten isn't going to kill me, right? Because <laughs> I didn't bring any ladders with me, for the love of Pete. Um, oh, my goodness. Do I have my feather fit falling boots on? I do. Okay, ten is not going to be so bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not too bad. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's just get the ladders out. Let's learn our lesson. I don't think I'm going to need the bow... Let's let's do this. I, I I haven't I haven't thought this all the way through. You know, it's been a while since my last mob farm. Now I did pretty good on the last one, uh, but you know it it was slow starting in the beginning. And truthfully, I did not record in the beginning because I was struggling a lot like now. So I want to. Th this always makes me nervous. I want to go this way, and I may wind up moving this. Oh hey hey. <sighs> I don't know how I'm hanging out here in the in the wild. Okay, let's talk about the width this needs to be. This is the center, right? Right here. These this block right here is the center. Um the sorter width in the other house or, or the other mob farm, I need uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I need a width of ten minimum for the actual machine. So if I give myself two on either side of that, we'll call it twelve. If this is the center, I need to go six more, right? So there's one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six. See, I had already, I already counted this out. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's what I did. I already counted it out. I think I may be off one on this side, but I'm okay with that. Um, this is the splat pad. Or no, this is... Oh, this is the splat pad. All right, hold up, hold up. So this area down here is going to be the sorting room. That's the one that's got to be 12 wide and about 20 or so deep. This one up here is going to be the splat pad. Now, the splat pad, where they land... Uh, only has to be 6 plus 2 on either side, 4, 10. Only has to be 10 wide. So I can actually bring this in. Of course, it doesn't hurt me to be wider. All I'm doing is burning up some logs. So do I care or not? If I do them the same size, then it's a big square, and I can box it in. 
<laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just start building while I think about it. That's a lot of design decisions. Now, many of you know I don't mind building and I want functional, I want practical. Uh, but what really doesn't bother me, I mean, I'm not a big one for, you know, it's got to look good. Um, if it doesn't, I'm okay with that. As long as it functions and does what it's supposed to do, I am so okay with that. Why does that look uneven? We talked about this, right? This is uneven. I'm just, I, okay, it is going to hit my OCD, so I'm going <laughs> to pull this in by one. Uh, what can I tell you? just pull this down so again not uh, not really big into the looks although I don't mind it if it looks good I just you know I, I'm on to the next project before I spend the time to do that uh, what I want what I care about what I need is that it works uh, one more right yeah why does this look like it's overlapping is it there's one way to test it. I could jump off of here and see if I <laughs> hit, the, hit the stuff below. What do you think? Is that a good way to test that? Do you think feather falling will work 90 blocks later? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to test that. I'm just saying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. Oh, see, I'm, gonna, I'm getting up here in the dark, and I haven't been laying this down. Uh, does this make anybody else nervous? <laughs> or is it just me? Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not running with sneak on right now. I'm trying to get this lit up before anything happens, anything bad. <gasps> oh, I almost ran right off. Let's go get this one. Yeah, that's just crazy. Okay. Whew. Got a pretty good view from up here. Uh, and not too many of my neighbors are building tall, building big. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. They've got some pretty good-sized farms down there, but they're not building up like I am, uh, which is kind of a good thing. Uh, let's see if you can see this guy right over here. Uh, not really through the cloud cover. You can see the beginnings right over here and then a little bit of his farm. But there's a big area right over here, and it, and it looks to me to be in the dark. It looks like you can't really see that. So, um, Okay, while I'm standing right here, where's my ladder? Oh, chink. Okay, let's do this. And let's get, uh, get all that we've got. What in the world was that? Anybody? Anybody know what that was? That was crazy. <laughs> oh my god, it scared me. Really? It's just me? Scared the, almost scared the pee pee out of me. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, I've never heard that sound before. I, I know I'm supposed to have. I'm supposed to have been up there fighting the Ender Dragon, and I apologize. Um, uh, apologize, uh, TMH, if you if <laughs> if you're aware that I've never heard that sound before. It's because I've never fought the dragon before. So goodness, I you know my heart rate is still <laughs> racing. It's crazy. Okay, what am I what am I missing here? This is the one. One two. Come on, why is this not right? One two three four five six. It is right. I guess it's because this stilt isn't being matched on this side. Maybe maybe if I do that, it won't 
it won't hit my OCD so bad. Am I going to be able to get up there? Yeah, not really. I can come out one. Let's do this. Oh, come on, really? Oh, I don't know if you caught that. That almost went really, really bad. Uh, okay. Whew. Okay, so I just have to fill in the rest of this, and I think I have enough wood up here to do it. So let's let's just start running down here. more torches and let's talk about what's next so this is the splat pad they're gonna fall down to here and die it's gonna be covered in either water or uh, probably hoppers uh, I need to get busy mining that'll flow everything down to an input that drops down into the sorting room which is going to be on that pad so we went up 10 so we'd have plenty of room uh, to do whatever we needed to do down there. This is where they're going to fall and die. Uh, and I'm looking forward to watching that. There's, you know, there's nothing more gratifying to me than to listen to the sound of mobs dropping to their death and leaving their drops for me to find. Uh, you know, call me, a, it's, it's a little perverse, but I really love that sound. I love the sound of them hitting <laughs> the hoppers. Um, it does me good. Does, it, does that make it wrong? Am I wrong? You don't have to answer that. Can I reach all three from here? I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this. I'm probably, this one doesn't need any walls. I'm probably going to go up to the next level, the level where the, um, uh, the actual mob farm itself is going to be. Now, the mob farm itself is going to be a little bit wider than here. And what happens is, of course, you know, there's dispensers like, pretend they're dispensers where these torches are. So the water flows uh, seven blocks this way, six blocks this way, five, four, okay? And then four, five, six, seven. So there's this little jaw pattern that's cut out. And if you've watched my previous videos, you, you know what I'm talking about. But if this is the first time you've heard about the mob farm, I just want to be able to explain what's going on or what will be happening. So the, the, the bit above is definitely going to be wider than what I'm doing down here. Um, but inside where the, um, where the jaws are, it's only open by, I think it's a width of six max. Uh, and then if you put, you know, I'll, I'll take gravel up there and I'll drop it down. And where it falls, um, that's, that edge will be where the, the hoppers go. So, you know, if, if gravel falls here, I may do one extra hopper and do it out to here. Uh, so six plus one on either side, and then I'll have some walkway around it. And it's been my experience. This is the reason I need the walkway is because occasionally they survive. If they have enough armor or they have feather falling boots or something like that, it is not unusual for them to survive. Um, and I like coming up here and wailing on them because <laughs> you know by the time they they've hit here, they they're not doing too well. And I'm feeling pretty superior. I'm feeling like I could probably take them. I'm just saying. Okay, so that's the next pad. Um, the next goal after this, let me make sure I have enough material. Uh, there's, there's no peak through here, but I do need to go up another 24 blocks. Uh, again, because that's the bottom. 
and then I'll I'll grab my notes. I think it's uh, I think it's a width of 34, but uh, actually, where, where are my notes? Hold on. Okay, according to my notes, it is 33 blocks long, and then each side is nine blocks wide. And then of course there is the uh, one, two, two right between where it ends, and then nine. So nine and nine is 18 plus two is 20. So it's 20 wide and 33 long. And I can make it, you know, it can be longer. I just need to repeat the number of uh, dispensers, you know, one for every four blocks. Um, so it, you know, I just, uh, but 33 is about the minimum I'm going to need. And that gives me a little bit of a walkway around. It gives me some working room. So I'm going to go upstairs and get started. Uh, I, I probably need to go downstairs and bring up some more wood. Uh, since the majority of this is going to be in the dark oak, uh, gosh, I probably need to go plant some. You know, I, I've been so busy fishing, and I don't think I have enough dark oak planted. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go plant some dark oak. I'm going to harvest it. I'm going to go cut some down. I'm going to bring a whole bunch up here, and I'm going to build the next pad. Stay tuned to the next episode. Uh, I'll try not to do too much without you. Um, a number of people have asked for each step and my thought process behind it. I did learn a thing or two with the last mob farm, and one thing I am going to do, instead of putting the dispensers right on the outside edge, I'm going to put a two block wide walkway all the way around. I mean, that's just, that's just, it, it just makes it so much easier for me to manage it. One thing I will tell you about the, the mob farm and having so many dispensers and the torch and all that, you do fiddle a bit to get every bit of the timing right. And so I was up and down the outside edge of that um, farm a number of times before I got it right. Uh, and, you know, almost fell off two or three times. It was just, you know, it was harrowing. So I, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to add the extra two blocks all the way around the outside edge on each level. You know, it's just... It's just not that much wood. It's just not worth worrying about. So I'm going to do that, and uh, you check back in with me, see how things are going. Uh, it won't be long now. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot to tell you. <laughs> Happy mining.